Hey crafters, it's Janet with Crafting It Up In Creations coming at you today with something a little bit different. Now this is a do-it-yourself embellishment box. These boxes are really popular right now. Um, people are taking the smaller boxes from the Dollar Tree or even any of the uh, craft stores that have some of these similar type boxes and they're filling them with embellishments and they're either doing swaps or using them as giveaways and all kinds of fun things with them so if you go to Facebook you can find a lot of information if you put just embellishment box swap in as a search or if you go to YouTube you can get tons of ideas to use for these embellishment boxes. People are selling them on Etsy, um, all kinds of different things. So I want to show you what I did with mine. Now this is my first ever um, embellishment box and I decided to make it tropical so that I could use some flamingos and pineapples and some different things that I had in my stash. Uh, to put together this little box and I am actually going to give this away. I think this turned out really super cute. I hope you guys like it and I hope somebody wants to get one. So for what I used is one of these Jot organizer um, cases that they have and a lot of people are using these to put washi in or just basic craft supplies. Uh, they stack really well um, but they've got nine different compartments. Uh, two of them are kind of the larger compartments. And it just holds little embellishments really, really well. And I think it kind of um, came from the idea where people were doing pocket letters and sending all those little cute things that they thought um, to do these embellishment boxes. So I'm jumping on the bandwagon and I wanted to do some myself. And like I say, this is my first one. I've got several other ideas that I would love to do because I want to do a fairy garden one or a fairy one, um, a mermaid, a unicorn. Um, I've got so many ideas. I've seen a really beautiful vintage type box made. Um, so be on the lookout. If you're interested in stuff like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I would like to do more of these in the future. And I will probably won't do swaps right away. I would like to try to, um, in a sense, try to get some of my stash under control. And I think this would be a great way to share the love and even um, say thank you to my subscribers, um, especially for this one today, to give it away. So I'm going to start by showing you what's on the outside of the box. Some people really elaborately decorate these and they have come out so cute. Everything I have on mine, you can take off. So this is a bottle skirt. It came from the Target Dollar Spot, and of course it looks like a little um, grass skirt. And I've got a little bit of static going on here. Um, it's got these really pretty flowers on it, but it also has a little thing of Velcro on the side here. This was $3 at their Dollar Spot this year. This is new. Um, but the Velcro wraps around and it'll kind of fit snug against whatever bottle you want to use it on. So if you want to put it on your beer or, you know, whatever, or your um, Dr. Pepper bottle or whatever, because <laughs> that would be mine. Um, and I've included that just on the front and I left it folded over. Now the little um, band that goes across there is actually a headband and it's real thin. So it came in a set of three and it was this pink one, a gray one, and a light purple one. And it's thin enough that I was able to just wrap it around the lid and then I was able to actually close the case with it on there. Some of the other headbands you wouldn't be able to do that with because they're nice and thick, but this one's really thin. But you can wrap it around the whole box, and that's kind of the idea anyway. Um, some people, you know, put the je jelly bands around them. And this is a flamingo that came from one of the headbands that the Dollar Tree had last year. I haven't seen them yet this year, but that doesn't mean anything. Um, but this little spring um, or coil is very strong. It's like a steel spring that's on there, so you need a really good pair of cutters to cut those off. 
um, but I just kind of tucked it down in there along with this little hibiscus flower that also came on a headband as well. When I saw these last year, I thought they would make super cute um, paperclip embellishments, and that was kind of the plan for them, but they're pretty big. Um, but they've got a lot of sparkle to them. They're really pretty and they had a few different ones I want to say they also had a pink flower as well So that's kind of how I've decorated the outside of the box and I'm going to open it up and show you some of the different things that I've put inside of it and I tried to fill this up with as many goodies as I could that you could use um, on any type of project that you might have going on. Now this is some paper shred. It came from the Dollar Tree and I just put it in the bottom of the boxes to kind of cushion everything. And these are wood pieces. They sold these at Michael's last year. Um, they're super cute. They're nice quality. I used them in some of my uh, nautical type theme stuff that I did last year. I'll try to link that video down below as well. Um, but these are just four different wood pieces, and I thought it kind of gave to this nautical, tropical theme that I've got going on here. I also picked up some of these little flat back pearls um, or gems, and they had pink in them, so I thought it would be good to go with this. Everybody can always use some of these little flat back pearls and different things, and they have such a pretty color to them. And these are like a pink and an ivory. And this is a magnet with a little pineapple on it. Pretty sure it came from Joann's last year. Um, but just kind of threw it in here with the tropical theme. And these are acrylic gems. They're flat backed as well and they're in the pink and green color. And they kind of have like that holographic look to the top of them as well. These are really super pretty and I think they would add all kinds of flair to, to projects or paper flowers or even dressing up the little flowers from the Dollar Tree just to kind of add a little something to it. And they're in these little containers from the Dollar Tree. You get eight of those for a dollar. Um, but I just put them in there and I think they're mainly to hold like beads or even paint These also came from the Dollar Tree. I've had these for a couple years um, It's just some tinsel glitter that's inside there. These were mainly made for like nail kits and different things But if you empty those out and you use all that glitter You can actually put something else inside of them and hang them from a necklace uh, there's a lot of possibilities with these and I thought these were really good tropical colors to throw in with this. And then I threw some washi tape with some flamingos on it on this little spool. I thought that was really cute. And as well as some little rickrack that's got some, some pink and maybe some red in there. And then a little pink tassel as well. I've seen a lot of people add these to different things. Um, you could put it on a paper clip, just about anything. And I try to have everything kind of packed in here really nice. Um, but I'm worried that it will get shifted, you know, once you send it out. Now this is little paper cutouts, I guess like confetti. There's little watermelon slices, there's little flamingos, and pineapples. Now the pineapples have a gold and a green in there, but the flamingos are pretty much a light pink and all the watermelon pieces are like a darker pink, almost a coral color. But I put a bunch of those in there and then the baggie has a couple little pineapple stickers on the outside of it, just to dress it up some. Now these are paper straws in a really pretty pink color and they came in a kit to make um, these little flamingo I guess it would just be just to decorate your straw with but this is an adhesive place that's on there and you take that off and you put that together and you've got that really cute puffy penguin and he's so cute and I didn't want to put it together so that it would ship well but this is what it looks like when you put it on the straw 
And of course, these are one-time use straws, but um, in the paper crafting world, we usually like to make rosettes or something like that with those. And so I even included an extra one in there with it. And then this is actually a wooden domino but I put one of those pineapple stickers on it as well. And you could peel that off easily if you wanted to decoupage that or you know do anything else differently with it. I've got some little pineapple erasers. Now you can use a craft knife and cut a slit in the bottom of this and use some super glue and put this on a paper clip as well. And these would make super cute paper clips for, for a planner. And then there's also this really cute watermelon piece. It kind of comes apart, but you could use super glue to hold that together. And you could even cut a slit in it and use it for a planner clip as well, too. It looks like the little seeds actually push through and will come out as well when I was kind of fooling around with it. So I thought that was pretty neat. Um, it does seem like it doesn't hold together very well. So I would say the little super glue to hold the ed edges of it together would be good. Now these are a bunch of different little buttons and um, some like, something like a resin piece even. Uh, those pieces actually have adhesive on the back, um, but I've got several buttons here. There's popsicles, uh, snow cones, um, little flowers. I've got a little suntan lotion bottle. And I kind of just included stuff that kind of just looked like tropical flowers in there. Now I decided that it had to have some seashells and even some sea glass in there for that tropical feel. And then I did include some of these rose gold paper clips. They're just some of the smaller paper clips. And then there's um, small ones with this rounded edge to the top of them. So adding something like a rosette to this would be really easy because you've got plenty of area there to throw some adhesive on to make it stick. Would even be good for that um, hibiscus flower, you know, to sit on as well. And I've kind of tried to fold these bags over so that everything sits in there really nicely and that you can see it from the top, you know, when you open up the box. And in this last little container, I've got a bunch of little made paper clips. This little pineapple actually goes on a wine glass and it's kind of designate um, whose wine glass is whose. Um, the kit or the actual container came with about six different colors of pineapples and they're super cute but i used super glue for this and put it up into the pineapple and slid the paper clip up in it this will look super cute on a summer planner spread but i also have two can do it and this is like a little shaker one And I really like him. He's he's really cute. And this one says, Tropic Like It's Hot. These were actually stickers from Michael's last year. But I really love those. And then these, these are just some little binder clips that I put some washi tape on that have some tropical flowers on it. Tropical leaves. And then the last thing I have in here are these gems. These are really pretty um, gems. I thought they were really nice to add in with the tropical colors and to the theme of this box. So that's my embellishment box. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments down below. I will pick a winner within this video to someone that makes a comment on the video. And of course you must be a subscriber. I do need you to be in the U.S. or Canada in order to send this out um, without paying an arm and a leg because I think the shipping would be more than what I've put in the box itself if I sent it overseas. So I do apologize for that. Maybe I can do something like that in the future though. Um, I will pick a winner by Friday night. Um, I work daylight shift Friday, 7A to 7P. So it'll be later Friday night. But I will pick a random comment from this video. 
like I say, if you have any questions as well, leave them in the comments below. Uh, these embellishment boxes, uh, I have been watching so many different videos here on YouTube and different people doing them. And I was just super excited to try one myself. So, you know, I really want to do like a baking theme or like a believe or faith type box or winter or, you know, I, the possibilities really are endless. You know, you can make them themed. You can just throw a bunch of stuff in them. Um, there's so many different things you can do. So, like I say, check out YouTube. Check out Etsy. There's people that actually sell these embellishment boxes on Etsy. Um, and depending on what you have in them, you can really put a lot of money into these little boxes. So, and... Um, at this time, I just want to do a giveaway with a couple of them just to kind of help thin out my stash and, of course, uh, share all these collective goodies that I have gotten over the years and especially within the last year. Um, if I can share some of this with you guys and show my appreciation for you subscribing and giving me always good uh, feedback, um, really sweet comments and it really keeps me going um, I gotta say I've got a lot of things going on in the background and this definitely helps me use my creative um, juices uh, get going and I just I love it so I'm really appreciative for that um, just like they say crafting's cheaper than therapy I totally believe that so once again, if you have any questions, of course, leave them down below. Any comments, I will pick a random comment. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you wait um, afterwards, there'll be a, a little bell will pop up. If you click that as well, that'll notify you each and every time I upload a video. Um, I do admit my videos are kind of sporadic, so I don't have any set schedule right now I'd like to try to do that one day but with my work schedule and being a mom there's it's just hard <laughs> so um, I will link a few of the um, people that I have subscribed to recently that do a wonderful job on these embellishment boxes so it'll give you some idea I'll link my nautical beach decor uh, down below as well as my tissue box um, my mason tissue jar holder that I've made that is like a teacher gift that I'm doing for um, teacher appreciation week this week. and so maybe that'll even give you some ideas of different things that you could do this week um, for teacher appreciation week and of course the embellishment boxes i hope that you all enjoy let me know if you like this type of thing i would like to do um, a few more giveaways with these like i say i have all kinds of ideas running through my head of different things i can do with them so take care hope you guys have a wonderful day and i really hope you get a chance to craft it up